How have you been feeling? I've been feeling really well. My name is Betty Underwood, and I am a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor. I was diagnosed in 1995. Then I had chemotherapy in 95, 96, and 2001, 2002. When I had another recurrence in 2009, I was decided after many tests and many consultations uh, with the doctors that I would have a stem cell transplant. And this was an autologous stem cell transplant where they used my stem cells. It was very handy having it right here at Guy Singer. I live about 10 minutes away, and I was allowed to uh, come here, have my treatments, and then go home and actually sleep in my own bed, and it was very nice. I'm Dr. Edward Gorak. I'm the co-director of the bone marrow transplant program at Geisinger Medical Center. The bone marrow transplant um, initially had its uh, origins in harvesting bone marrow. Um, and patients used to have to go to the operating room and we would uh, extract as much marrow as we needed to do the transplant. Whereas with PBSCs, peripheral blood stem cells, they go to our donor center. They basically get hooked up to a machine, very similar to a dialysis machine, uh, where you have a tube coming in and a tube going out and the machine is in the middle. The machine is calibrated to kind of identify which cells look like these hematopoietic stem cells. And it collects them, puts them in a bag. Cells are processed that day. Um, and then they're stored. They're stored in liquid nitrogen. This is certainly a lot less uh, discomforting for patients and um, uh, we're able to achieve the same results. At this point, uh, I am free and clear. Uh, Dr. Gorak said that uh, everything looks great from my last scans and it's just kind of uh, wait and see. So it, can it come back? Yes, but I don't live and worry about that. I live for the day and have fun. <laughs> We're in this together.